Okay, guys, so obviously Lion King has a ton of iconic scenes. Mm -hmm. Was there any particular scene in specific that you guys really wanted to recreate? Pause. Just want to say, like your socks, man. They're pretty. Oh, those are simple. Thank you. No, I noticed. Thank you. I noticed. You know, I <laughs> appreciate you noticing because there's a lot of people that don't notice. You know, you let know? me shake your hand, man. I noticed the cactuses. <laughs> Thank you. And the cat died. Exactly, because you don't notice a lot of cactuses in Miami because you know, yeah. not many. Yeah. <laughs> Unpause. Thank you. Okay. You can go. Okay. Um, so I think Jess can't wait to be king because that is a really, really fun and energetic scene that, I mean, I've already recreated before, but it feels amazing to recreate it again because it's in a totally different way and you feel a, a totally different way and you have a totally different experience while you're watching it. Um, so I love that. Awesome. And yourself? Um, my favorite scene? Or a scene that you really wanted to recreate? Oh, a scene that I really wanted to recreate was the scene where he was running from all the animals. Mm -hmm. That scene was cool. Oh, that made me cry. Made me cry. That made me cry. <laughs> like made me lot. cry before, but that was the most when, that I when I was cried. watching me <laughs> crying, I didn't cry. I just felt like I'm the dude. I made everyone in this room drop to tears, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm the man. Yeah. Anyway, that was my favorite scene to recreate. <laughs> that's good to know. Yeah. Um, now. Both Simba and Nala, they get a lot of advice from, you know, Mufasa and, and the other characters in yeah. the movie. What was the best piece of advice that your family has, has given you guys? I think, I mean, I think that a lot of the advice that my family gives me kind of reminds me of Mufasa's advice to Simba. You know, remember who you are, you know, make sure to give to others. Um, and I think that that is what has made me... Um, I think that's what's made me, you know, the person that I am today with like the values and how I was raised. Yeah, so that um, helps. some advice that my family has given me, look, let me just say this, I love you family. You're, you're a good family, you're really cool. Love you aunts, I love you cousins. You didn't give me no advice, my dad did. So what I will say is that my dad said, um, you don't, You only have to be brave when it's necessary. You don't have to go out of your way like, oh, what'd you say? No, nah, no, nah, you, you don't want these. No, nah, you don't have to do that. You only have to be brave when it's necessary. And that's kind of what Mufasa said. Yeah, I was about to say, it's very Mufasa-like. Yeah, yeah, it sounds so, very Mufasa. -like. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it calm for the rest of this interview. Okay, Kay. cool, cool. <laughs> well, you know, one thing that I did notice about both Simba and Nala is that they both have so much confidence from the get-go. Mm -hmm. You know, they really have a belief in themselves. And I look at both of your careers, both in film and in music, because I know you both in music, you guys have achieved so much and have so much confidence in the work that you guys do. You know, how, how do you guys fuel that, that confidence? Oh, um, I think that I would just say to always, you know, give yourself affirmations and, you know, little compliments to yourself just to remember, you know, um, that you know you are worthy of where you are today because you've made it this far and you know your talent has taken you this far so I mean why can't you go farther? Yeah, can you please repeat the question so I just Stop. make sure that I have my answer? Well both of you, of course man, no problem. So b b both of you guys have achieved so much and you guys have so much confidence, it, it, you can see it you know and you guys are very similar to both Simba and Nala in that way. Yes. So I want to. This is all a hoax. This is not. Really? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You're so, being a complete hater. He's just, all just, zen just, now you're, for you're, some you're reason. You're a hater right okay. now. I'm chilling. <laughs> I am chillaxing. Okay. Continue. <laughs> so my question is, where does that confidence come from? Where do, where do you feel that confidence of yours? Uh, where I feel my confidence, I would say that, wait, wait, where I feel my confidence, I would say that it comes from the people that support me, my family, um, the things that I watch on TV, um, those support me, I, I, I don't know what that means, support, um, I think that just the people that surround me really support me and that, that helps me get my confidence. Yeah. Well, they're asking me to, to wrap up you guys, so again, mm -hmm. thank you so much for your time and you guys did an amazing job. Thank you nice so much. So nice to meet you. No, same, same. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Anthony. 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 You look like an Anthony. I See? Look like an Anthony? Yeah. He does.